Now in Velocity, you can upload any kind of client files from applications, leads, or contacts. Let's show you how. Click on Tools and Upload Data. Select your data type. Are you uploading deals, contacts, or leads? And make sure that the spreadsheet you're selecting is one of the supported formats. You can find them here. Select and open your spreadsheet and wait for the upload to finish. Since you can see all of your uploaded spreadsheet data, you can feel free to make changes before you continue. Here, I'll change cancel to paid. Any of the categories that Velocity can't figure out where to line up in the conversion will appear in purple. Click the cell that says please select and you'll notice up at the top will appear a little drop-down window. Drag and drop it over to the middle of the screen for easier access. Now you want to take your time working your way across the spreadsheet. Anywhere the purple heading says please select, use the drop-down menu available to decide where you would like these items to appear in Velocity. Use the Do Not Import option for any fields that do not have a place to match up. By the time you're done, there should remain no more purple headings. When you're ready to continue, click Save to Velocity. When your data has been imported, click View. Here in the historical deals, we'll see the applications that were imported. We can select all of the deals at once for a bulk conversion or individually select each file, as well as deciding if we're going to opt in for Castle. Use the Status Change drop down menu to decide which status these imported files will have. I'm going to select Complete and then hit Update. Once the update is complete, the files will disappear from your historical deal section, which means you're done. You should now be able to search for your client name and locate those imported deals in your database. I hope this helps. Thank you so much, and thank you for choosing Velocity.